Hello, I want to make a video response to Leila Zamora's Mariano's video on why it is difficult to change. And within her video, she discussed how her baby Caesar is um, showing that change only takes a matter of doing it, of actually walking the steps to take that moment to change to walk the process that it will take to change like him trying to walk as she said he's each morning waking up and the first thing he does is stand up um and i think it's interesting through these um support she's sharing because you know you see babies and you just don't even you're not even really aware of what they're actually doing um like, because it's so natural for a baby to just crawl and a, a baby to just get up and start walking. I mean, we all did it. Um, but we never really look at the point of how that actually is, how they actually are doing that. It's not something that's, like, automatic or, um, you know, they're like robots that are just programmed to get up and start walking. They actually physically have to get up and start walking, like like a baby puppy or a baby elephant. They come out and they get up and they start moving. Um, so it's like really a cool example of life, of what it takes to live, of um, being disciplined and moving yourself and being determined to do what you want to do, to reach those goals of walking, for instance. And, you know, for adults, as was discussed in the video, it's difficult for change for us because we make it to be this huge, um, mind point, you know, like, we think about it a lot and we can't believe that we have to give stuff up. Like, for me, right now, I'm giving up coffee and dairy and, um, I'm practicing a new diet so I have to give up some stuff and it's like I'm like really you know why why do I have to do this why do why does my body have to be this way like making up all sorts of thoughts and excuses and blaming other points rather than just walk the process that has to be walked because it will be best for my body I mean it's an obvious point it's common sense and so it has to be done. So what is the point that we as adults go through this whole long, arduous process of um, blaming and creating excuses and whining and complaining about what we have to do? And I see it's a form of addiction. We have got become addicted to... Um, having a specific feeling in our bodies like it's like a an experience of um, happiness or goodness or positivity that we go through and it's like you know this experience is very nice it's it feels good in your body, um, but as we see what what comes with these good feelings is the opposite because we don't we don't always have these feelings. They're not always with us. These good, nice feelings. It's it's a uh, double-edged sword, as they say, because what comes along with that is you know the bad feelings the fear, the disappointment, the anguish, the struggle, the blame, um, you know, all those emotions that we go through, the anger um, that, you know, is created through not always having this good feeling, because if you're not in this good feeling, you're missing it, you're you're experiencing yourself less, you're unhappy, you're feeling, you know, bored inside or lame, or 
um, just not in a good way. So we have become addicted to feelings. And as, you know, we are walking the destiny process, those that are walking this realize that these feelings actually are not part of living. Because, you know, as the babies show, they're not being directed by experiences, by feeling good, um, because they just move themselves. Like, like she actually said in the, in the video where she woke up and, you know, all you want to do, like adults, we all experience that. We want to go back to sleep. We want to rest more. We want that good, nice, comfortable feeling in our beds and sleep. And what does Caesar do? He wakes up instantly and he stands up. He does that stand up to show that this is what he's going to be practicing. He wants to walk. He sees everybody walking around, moving, and he knows that it's going to be more his, you know, more of his ability to be able to move around and, you know, explore more. Um, that's what I would want to do if I was a baby is explore more. That would be my determination to get up and walk um, so it's like a natural living it's like a, it's a movement that is being shown through babies and through animals as well they're not base, basing themselves off of feelings and you know these experiences within us of wanting to feel good all the time and then you know, through that, allowing ourselves to go into this anger and uncomfortability because we don't have these feelings in us all the time because it's energy. It's not always here. So, this is why I see that um, change for adults is more difficult because we're actually chasing something that is fleeting. <coughs> is fleeting and is um, vast and vague and it's in our minds being, you know, it's like a roller coaster in our minds we're going on, up and down, searching, chasing good feelings. <coughs> All the while creating you know, these experiences of turmoil within us, that we're not getting, you know, these good feelings and we're, we're angry about it and we want to complain and whine about it and, you know, drag our feet to, you know, do the things that are difficult, like getting up in the morning and going and doing your physical responsibilities, making breakfast, um, helping your kids get ready, um, walking your dogs, um, you know, taking care of others, uh, going to work and doing work all day. You know, these responsibilities, it's like, can be a drag for us. I mean, in reality, they have to be done. I mean, there's physical responsibilities that each one of us has to walk each day, and regardless of what our feelings are about it, it still has to be done. So, you know, as be baby Caesar and babies in general, and I also associate this with animals as well, um, they just live, they just move, and within that movement, within that living, they expand themselves like baby Caesar is, he's expanding himself to be able to practice the motions, to be able to walk so he can explore further in his world and move, move more and, um, get out there more. So with this understanding, with this wisdom or knowledge or um, awareness that's opening up with baby babies and Caesar, as this video example was about, um, it's showing us adults that we should be focusing on children how children are living. It's like all in reverse. It's like we're trying to teach children how to be an adult when actually adults are not actually living. We're just existing in our minds and trying to chase feelings of 
wanting to feel good, but within that feeling good, you also feel bad, and the bad is what we're trying to run away from, so we're really just run away, we're running in circles and never going anywhere. Where baby Caesar is going to be crawling and running one day and probably climbing trees and exploring all over the place because he did it himself. He moved himself each and every day. He learned how to walk and as him as an example, as babies, as children, as they move and expand themselves, we too as adults can move and expand ourselves by letting go of feelings, letting go of um, desires and these addictions to good feelings and do what has to be done in physical reality to move our world, to move ourselves in a way that creates, you know, an expansion of ourselves and then expanding into our worlds and expanding our world, creating new things, better things, things that are best for everybody. And this is being done in the moment, so check out the links and keep keep walking and expanding and let's move, let's live. Thanks for the video suggestion, Layla and Caesar and all babies for showing us who we can be and how we can live. Thanks.